Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. Yeah, this time we're going to look at a game called Hat Trick, and this was created by Bally Sente in 1984. And it is a hockey game. It is uh, either one player versus two player, or one player versus the computer. And you only have a minute 45, but it's, it's real time seconds, to... Uh, try to outscore your opponent. It's not that great a game. I, I do remember seeing it in a lot of arcades back in the day. But that is basically the game. Just try to score more points, more goals than your opponent. And one thing that is pretty cool about the game is that you will see the scratches of the skates in the ice as you play the game. And after your game is concluded, a Zamboni will clean the ice, smooth out all the scratches. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I remember seeing this at a handful of arcades back in the day. It was sort of popular, and I, I know it had some sort of home port release. I can't remember what it was. But uh, yeah, I'm not a, a huge fan of it. I, I suppose it could have definitely been worse. It's hard to uh, get a hold of the puck. You have to touch it with the end of your stick, otherwise you won't uh, you won't be able to grab it. And that's uh, not been the case in a number of uh, video game uh, hockey games. You can just touch it anywhere on your player, and you've collected it. You can't do that in this game. And uh, as the game progresses, it seems the computer gets better and better, especially when the computer is trailing. So it's really it's really hard to score much in this game. Um, if you're going to attack the computer and try to get the puck back, or the second player, you, uh, you have to whack at the puck. You can't whack at the player's body. You know, the the physics aspect of the game is uh, radically different from what you you might be used to. As uh, as the computer or second player gets towards your goal, you can move up and down with the controller and move the goalie. And the goalie is kind of this cheapo looking. Uh, oddly shaped uh, being, whatever it is, but uh, that that horn or whatever that is is really annoying. But uh, yeah, you have uh, a minute forty-five, which is an odd, uh, odd uh, amount of time. Sometimes you hear a computer or, or a, a booing sound when uh, you whack or get whacked by the computer. And again, to knock that puck away from the computer, you have to hit at the puck. You can't just hit at the computer's body and like knock him down or whatever, which is the, the common... Uh, technical aspects of uh, video game hockey, which this does not have. So it takes quite a while to get used to. It's very hard to get your bearings to get a, a clean shot at the computer's goal. Very, very hard. And the computer's very good at uh, blocking shots. But the, the game does uh, keep track of how many saves each player has. Well, that's uh, my game of hat trick. I'll play to a tie the second time, but I do like that uh, that the game uh, displays the scratches in the ice and then shows the zamboni clean out, clean off the ice. It's kind of cool, but other than that, I'm not huge on this game.
the at the when it says select side, you press a button to determine uh, which uh, side you will choose, first player or second player. And there, I got a goal right off the bat. And yeah, from then on, once the computer's behind, they're they're usually much tougher. I got lucky right there. They are usually really, really hard to score against. But again, you have to whack at the puck. And to pick up the puck, you have to touch it with the end of your stick. Maybe a uh, more uh, realistic, but it's not usually that way in a video game hockey. It's very, very, very tough to get used to. And good luck on scoring much in this game. Because like I said, the computer gets behind. They get they get much better. And uh, and they seem to get better as the game uh, progresses. You know, as the Ah crap. What the damn it? Well it's uh See if I can hold on to this lead. Actually, no, I, I'm pretty sure I uh, I ended with a tie in this game. And yeah, you can move up and down to control the goalie as you... even as you're uh, uh, trying to get the puck back from the, uh, from the opponent. God damn it, I thought maybe I could hang on. Well, yeah, if uh, if it's tied, you go to an only 20 second overtime period. Overtime. So yeah, 20 seconds. And of course, whoever scores will be the winner and the game will end. And if there's no score in overtime, then the game will just end with a tie. This game is just too hard. I don't... I, I'm not comfortable with the technical aspects. They're just radically different from what usual video game ice hockey is. Well, that was Hat Trick by Bally Sente in 1984. This is Crazy Climber Eddie saying thanks for watching Hat Trick. Um, I will uh, do another video game re-upload in the near future. Y'all, uh, hope y'all had a great weekend, and I'll catch you later. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.